let's have a look at the new zone dollar as well. Here, uh, the pair also managed to recover, and um, it uh, almost approached resistance from February highs and uh, resistance above the current price is formed by the um, almost horizontal moving averages located in the area of 0 0.7110, 0 0.7150. A new Zealand's annual growth rate slowed further despite surging immigration, low borrowing costs and evident activity in the housing sector. Uh, this casts doubt on the latest central bank's projection that growth would accelerate to more than 4% by the second half of 2017. And uh, this is what limits the ability of the New Zealand dollar to strengthen. The main uh, focus of the current week will be the meeting of the Reserve Bank of New Zealand on Thursday. Uh, the forecast the consensus forecast is that the benchmark interest rate will be left on hold at 1.27 mark. And many analysts expect the central bank to adopt a wait and see approach. Um, ahead of the meeting, we'll get an update on global daily prices and also comments and news from the United States um, will be also important. But um, Taking into account the fact that the pair has already appreciated on the weaker dollar and that we have approached these resistance levels, once again, here I don't think that long positions is what you want to, um, to engage in uh, these days uh, in these pairs. Also remember that um, there was a reduction in the long positions for uh, Australian dollar, Canadian dollar, New Zealand dollar is also vulnerable for that. So um, here I currently don't see enough reasons to open long positions despite some um, weakness in the US dollar. Also important thing to remember that um, risk aversion is also contributing to the dynamics of this currencies which have high interest rates and these currencies which are uh, closely involved in global trade and during the weekend there was the meeting of G20 finance ministers and central bankers and this meeting failed to produce a um, uh, statement from these um, G20 nations on um, fighting trade protectionism. On the other hand, uh, the policy of the US President Donald Trump is in favor of protecting American uh, trade and um, trying to um, decrease the US trade deficit. As a result of this, concerns about global trade and relations between the US and China and other economies are hurting uh, global trade and risk sentiment and commodity currencies in that sense are not vulnerable. 